welcome back to my channel. We're probably approaching five o'clock um, and I'm only just picking up my camera now. Again, I have done nothing all day and I don't even know why I decided to do vlog posts because I probably got about five interesting, semi-interesting days before Christmas. But you can follow me on for the rest of my evening. I've got to do a bit of tidying. And seeing as I'm always tidying downstairs, like non-stop, I figured today I'm just going to do uh, upstairs. That's the word. I'm going to just give everywhere a bit of a spring clean ready for Christmas. I also really need to start getting Lily's room situated. She's six months old today and it makes me so sad. And just earlier, like a, th uh, a few hours ago, she was having a nap on me. And it just felt like the first time I held her and she napped on me then, like six months ago. That, I don't know, I'm lost for words. I can't believe I've been a mummy already for six months. Like, it doesn't feel like it's even been a week, to be fair. So, I don't know, I just kind of had a day just chilling and relaxing with Lilith because she's been in my life six months and honestly, time's just going really too quick. So, I just wanted to make the most of today. Um, but yeah, I do need to tidy up this evening and I wanted to do upstairs, ready for Christmas in Lilith's room. I'm, pro I'm probably repeating myself now, but I need to get Lilith's room situated. She's six months and she's not quite going into her own room, even though the um, guidelines for SIDS say that she can go into her own room now. Um, I've never had any issue with her sleeping on her own at all, so I probably could have put her in there a few months ago. But I won't put her in there until the new year, I'm thinking. Um, just because I still need to paint her room and using her room as my wrapping station for my Christmas presents and it has become a bit of a dumping ground and that's not mentioning the fact that she's still sleeping really really well in her next to me crib at the end of our bed so I'm just not in no rush to move her because as soon as she's in her own room that's it that's it for life she won't be coming to sleep back in my room again and that makes me really sad so I'm not rushing it at all uh, but we need to sort dinners out as well tonight and yeah, I'm really not going to be doing much um, But I thought you'd like to have a few cleaning montages and a bit of Lilith as well One of the first things I'm going to do and I haven't done it in such a long time Which is really bad on my behalf is clean all the hoover insides and everything You're gonna have to excuse the state of the kitchen I feel like I tidy it and then within seconds it's messy and I can't blame it on anyone beside myself because is my fault um, but yeah I honestly can't remember the last time I cleaned all of this and um, it says on the back that it should be clean like the filter anyway should be clean like after every use for maximum maximum something I can't remember so I need to clean it out before I um, take it upstairs and start cleaning upstairs and hoovering just read on the cylinder thing where all the dust collects on the hoover not to get the filter wet the filter was the first thing I cleaned with water so now it's like I'm not going to be using my hoover all night because that's really going to need to dry and I don't really want to break it because it's just before Christmas and I don't have the funds to go out and spend the money on a hoover and I shouldn't have I should have paid more attention before I did anything, but Lilith's giving me a massive toothy smile. Hi. Hi. Ah, hi. So it's feeding time for us. We're going to have the Tesco carrot pouch that I showed in last night's video. Ah, there we go. I've opened it. I couldn't find any of the pouch spoons that go just on the end so I'm just going to be using 
a normal spoon tonight and just square it on for her, I guess. than I was expecting her to. I wasn't expecting her to like these at all. She really likes porridge. And she's become quite accustomed to the taste of porridge. I brought her at the beginning, I brought her some like apple and banana pots and she wasn't too keen on them. And the same with rice pudding, she wasn't madly in love with that. But she seems to really be enjoying this carrot. So, so far, this is a yes from me. And the fact that they only cost like 45 pence it's also a win-win because to buy pouches and boxes of like four I was looking at paying like four pound for them there we go was that nice? did you enjoy that? yeah happy six months baby um. No, rejection. Nothing but rejection. Was that nice? You can't see the big smile on her face. You got big smiles. You got big smiles. Aww. Oh. Hopefully that should satisfy her for, I'm really gonna guess about 10, 15 minutes. Um, but her bottle was due at six. I like to try and keep to a tight schedule, especially of an afternoon with her bottles, um, because we like to have one about three o'clock, about then six o'clock, then nine o'clock, um, and maybe we have about a 15 minute to half hour fluctuation between them because I like to get her to bed as early as I can. She doesn't go to sleep until around nine, ten-ish, but... Um, she had a very long nap today. She just fell asleep on me, so I don't know what time she's going to want to go to sleep, but she seems tired now. So I'm going to put her back in front of the TV as if she's been there all day. I'm just going to put her in front of the TV while I tidy up the living room. There's nappies on the floor from when I've just changed her. Use a tidy dance desk, sort out the sofa, take out my plate from my lunch, and yeah. Mwah, thank you. Thanks. He's such a pretty girl. Is it you? My favourite time of night has to be when I can finally draw my curtains. I love drawing my curtains, switching this big light off and just having candles and just this whole front room being really peaceful and just calm and slightly tidy because I don't like to settle down of an evening unless I've picked up the toys and just the main bulk of rubbish. I don't do like a proper full on clean every day while I pop this shirt. So it's quarter to seven, Lily's having a nap, and I'm about to head upstairs to do the tidying that I wanted to do. I just needed to grab the cloth to do. To just like wipe down all the surfaces and I also really want to just clean down my bathroom super quick as well.
we? Where are we? Are we in McDonald's? Are we in McDonald's? Yeah. Is that your toy? What have you got? You got a carrot. There we go. Mmm. Is that delicious? Yum yum yum. Yum yum yum. So I have to go to see Dan again on his break tonight. Um, I just went to my mum's and she soaked Lily's pram suit for me and I took her again because whilst we were out she threw up all over her pram suit and the pushchair. The pushchair was fine luckily but the pram suit was just orange from her carrot so I've just been sitting with my mum and just really taking in every moment I have, I have with her because she's six months old and I've probably mentioned it like a billion times. I don't know, I'm just being very reflective today and yeah, I haven't done much so I'm going to have to try and get on top of everything Friday because I think tomorrow me and Dan are just going to have, this is day off so me and Dan are just going to have just a nice homely day and do nothing basically and have a roast dinner on a Thursday. Um, but yeah, that's going to be everything for this video. I'm now going to sit down and film Lilith's six month update. So I'm going to put the camera down and tomorrow there won't be a vlog, it'll be Lilith's six month update. Um, but if you've enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!